As the newest member of Melbourne's elite sporting scene, the Storm's lightning start to the season has generated plenty of interest here, and that interest could be reflected in a full house at Olympic Park on Friday night. We win game one, we win game two, we win game three. In our very first home game, we're on the back of three consecutive wins uh, in our very first year. The groundswell was massive. Uh, there was so much hype about the Melbourne Storm. And I dare say a lot of people were thinking back in the day, a lot of people, Melbourneans, they don't know much about rugby league, but they were, within three games, they were going, Who, who's this new, new, new side coming down to Melbourne, the purple, you know, in the purple storm? I think that those three games, and I'm, I'm, I could be overstating it, but those three away games almost built the club to what we see today. But there was some great anticipation uh, for us for that first home game against the North Sydney Bears. Uh, and North Sydney were probably in, uh, in that era were one of the, they had one of the best packs in the NRL at the time. And so it was a, it was probably the litmus test for us as a Melbourne Storm. You know, the boys were getting a bit, what was the word, feisty or toey, you know, about playing at home because we hadn't played at home yet. And that was a really exciting period for us because it was basically game on. And our first home game, Will they turn up? Won't they turn up? Hello everybody and welcome to Olympic Park for what is an historic occasion in the National Rugby League. It is the Melbourne Storm taking on the North Sydney Bears. The capacity here at Olympic Park is 21,500 people. Organisers are hoping that 18,000 tune through the turnstiles looking for another storm win. They turned up in their droves so I was just, uh, then you just felt so proud. Yeah, I remember parking the car and then walking to the game thinking, oh my God, there must be like, um, Guns N' Roses must be playing or something's going on next door. There were so many people around. I was like, wow. And um, we're pushing our way through the crowd and it was already jam packed when we got here. Chris Johns came to me before kickoff and he said, we've got a problem. It's a few problems actually, he said, security. And now there's still people outside. They're starting to get cranky because they might see the start of the match. He said, what should we do? And we're just over five minutes away from kickoff here at Olympic Park. They've in fact put the kickoff time back five minutes because of the crowd trying to jam their way into this first of a game for the Melbourne Storm. I think we both looked at each other and said, well, damn it, let's open the gates. So that was, a, again, a nice statement to make about, hey, here's your football team, here we are, we don't want to leave you locked out. Here is Glenn Lazarus, captain of the Melbourne Storm. They get a standing ovation at Olympic Park. You know, I remember running out onto the field to uh, that thunderous uh, music from Aka Deka, you know, and, and the fireworks and the crowd all standing up and cheering. We ran onto the field. And they're deciding to run the ball. Is this confidence? Oh, man. Smith was lurking outside him. The tackle was made and Carnell couldn't get the pass away. Pressure now for Nigel Roy. He can't come up with it. A chance for Boy. Play on, says Manda. Boy is going to score. The Storm are on the rampage. But the Melbourne Storm of Crescent Olympic Park with a victory. The Storm, they've upset one of the competition heavyweights, North Sydney. They become one of the heavyweights themselves in turn. To win our first home game at the graveyard, as, as it was then known, um, yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing, and then everyone, we were, we were the talk of the town. And the attendance, twenty thousand five hundred and twenty-two. And who'd have thought, in the heart of AFL territory, more than twenty thousand people would come and cheer what is their own team. The lap of honor, I'll never forget. The lap of honor that we started, we started during that time. Um, Tower and Nikau gathered everybody and said, we're gonna go and start from one part, right side of the, uh, um, the tunnel. We're gonna go all the way around and shake hands with everybody, thanking them for coming in. And Just for us to show our appreciation, you know, to, to the supporters that came to, uh, to support us on a home night. We had a fan room. And we went over, it was over the tennis centre at, the time, at that time and we go back then there was 2,000 people there and, and like they loved us and it was, 
It was an amazing thing. I think the fact that we went back there, they loved, because they, AFL never did any of that. I think was a really big thing. It was a really big part of our success. That was a real time of relief in a way. And when we got back in the sheds having a few beers with each other, you could just feel, wow, hey, we've arrived. We've done something special. We're in a sports mad town like Melbourne and we've turned the lights on and they responded accordingly. That's a feeling I'll, I'll take to my grave. It doesn't set it all up for you, but it's, it, the important thing is that you don't rest on your laurels. But, but we didn't, we just kept growing and growing.